Welcome to our review on gravitational fields and potential energy. First thing we need to do is understand what we mean by a gravitational field. And quite simply, it's a region where a mass experiences an attractive force. When we're talking about the gravitational field strength or gravity constant, which is given the little shorthand abbreviation of G, then that is the measure of the force on a one kilogram mass when it's in a gravitational field due to another mass. One last thing to bear in mind at this point is that the mass doesn't change, but the force on the mass will depend on the field. So the force that acts on an object in a gravitational field will be larger if the mass is larger or the distance between them is smaller. On your exam, they could ask you to calculate using the formula gravity force is the mass in kilograms times the gravitational field strength. This is one of those formulae that you do need to remember. They're not going to give it to you on your data sheet. So make sure you found a way to learn that and also to remember that on Earth, our gravitational field strength is 10 newtons per kilogram. The kind of question we could be asked then is given here. A spacecraft has a mass of 60 kilograms and is in the gravitational field of a planet where G is 27 newtons per kilogram. Calculate the gravity force on the spacecraft. First thing we do, as always in a calculation question, is highlight, circle, underline or jot down those key bits of information from the question itself, which I've done in red as usual. Then we need to recall the formula we're going to use, which is our force is mass times G. Substitute in our values, so 60 times by 27, plug that into the calculator to give us the answer of 1,600 newtons. As always when doing a calculation, make sure you do write down each step of your working so that even if you get the answer wrong, you've got some marks for the working. The next thing we need to do is to understand what we mean by weight. So one of the things that people always mess up is the distinction between mass and weight. So mass is the amount of stuff something is made from. Weight is the force due to gravity that acts on an object. So mass is in kilograms, weight is a force, it's in newtons. Another formula for us to learn, which is weight is mass in kilograms times the gravitational field strength. One thing we do need to bear in mind is that we use G to stand for our gravitational field strength, but it can also stand for the acceleration due to gravity. So Two equations there for you. Gravity force is mass times gravitational field strength, as we've already looked at. And the resultant force, again in newtons, is the mass times acceleration due to gravity. So what we've got as the value for our acceleration due to gravity on Earth is 9.81 meters per second squared. The last thing we need to consider is gravitational potential energy. So when we lift up an object in a gravitational field, we're transferring energy to a gravity store. The higher off the ground we lift it, then the more energy we're transferring to that gravity store. And we refer to this energy that the object has gained as gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy depends upon two things. Firstly, the mass of the object, and secondly, the height of the object. There is a third factor that will affect the gravitational potential energy, which is the gravitational field strength. Now, obviously, if we're talking about objects on a singular planet, then gravitational field strength is the same. So the only two factors that could be altered are the height and the mass. If, however, we're talking about different planets, then obviously gravitational field strength will change. We do need to learn another formula here, which is for gravitational potential energy. And that one is the mass in kilograms times the height in meters times gravitational field strength. So make sure you've learned all of these equations, otherwise you're really going to struggle on your P2 exam paper. So an example of a question we could have, calculate the energy transfer to a gravity store when a man of mass 70 kilograms goes from the ground floor to the 40th floor of a skyscraper. Each floor is three meters high. First thing we're going to do, as always in our calculation question, is highlight, circle, underline or jot down the key bits of information, which I've done in red as usual. 
Then we're going to work out the total distance that's travelled. So in this case, we're going 40 floors up and each floor is 3 metres high. So 3 times 40 gives us 120 metres as our distance. We then need to recall and write down the equation for GPE, which is mass times the height times gravitational field strength. Then we can substitute in from our actual values given in the question. The 70 times by 120 times 10 gives us our answer of 84,000 joules. Hopefully at the end of this video you can explain what is meant by gravitational field, gravity force and weight. You can recall and apply the equations for gravity force and potential energy. You can state G and acceleration due to gravity.